I'm always looking to do something different um, with every single project, but at the same time, maintain a brand. Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? Welcome to another day in the life. So I'm in the office. I am here for a couple of days. So today's day in the life is going to be a little bit different in that you are going to see snippets of the three days that I'm in the office. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and we're going to put that together as a day in the life simply because there's so much going on that we're not going to be filming for a full day like we normally do when we do a day in the life. So that'll be kind of cool, a little bit of a different way of doing a day in the life, but still really good, I think. And a bunch of you guys, uh, I've been noticing in the comments, have been asking me to introduce you to the new team members, which I have absolutely been meaning to do. So you guys are going to meet the two new House of On designers, which is going to be great. And for those of you guys who have been asking what happened to Christy, um, especially a lot of you guys have been asking what ha what's happened to Christy. I think because she's been around for so long. So um, Christy has decided to pursue other things, which uh, is great for her. I totally support her growth. And so is Kelsey. Kelsey decided to pursue other things as well. So those two have left and they've been replaced by two awesome interior designers and that's who you're going to meet today. Yesterday we kicked off the week as usual with a Monday morning meeting and the exciting thing about this last Monday morning meeting is that it was the first time that everybody from the new team was together and the new team only. So I was doing a quick count. Right now we're juggling 16 different projects that are in different phases. So that's pretty typical. That's kind of our sweet spot is usually when we've got about 16 projects on the go. And then a client meeting, Common Ground. For those of you guys who don't know what Common Ground is, Common Ground is the fitness studio that we're doing here in Vancouver. It's in Olympic Village. It is awesome. I am so excited about this because it's a little bit out of the box for a fitness studio. So it's really different. It's not your typical black and white athletic, hardcore feeling gym. This is way more fun, creative, inclusive, colorful, a little bit mid-century modern inspired. It's very different. So I'm really, really excited about the design for Common Ground. So keep watching because you'll see that project unfold quite a bit. Well, I guess that's an update on yesterday. And then my team got me some beautiful white roses for my birthday, because it's actually my birthday. I celebrated it on the weekend. <laughs> but it's actually my birthday tomorrow. 38. First things first, we have to introduce Catalina to the channel, to the YouTube channel. So this is Catalina. She's our new intermediate designer. She's from Colombia. <laughs> so she speaks Spanish. 
Perfecto español. <laughs> yeah, we call her Cat for short. C A T, Cat. So this morning we're jumping into an earlier meeting at 8:30. We want to run through some initial sketches and ideas and kind of collaborate with you on some of that. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, a list of words that I'd like to kind of just round table you yeah. guys for the words board. Okay. And then from that, we can kind of just make any last tweaks and revisions cool. and then we're pretty much good to go. Okay. Um, so this yeah. is going to be our concept kind of moving forward for the house. Yeah. Yeah. The direction. And then we've been adding to the palette as okay. we've been progressing. Does she like the palette? Yeah, she really likes the palette. Good. I like the color, color here. <laughs> That's cool. I like this kind of tone too. Yes. Tried to pull something like that from that photo. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. elegant. This is a suggestion for fabric and furniture because she had talked a lot about incorporating some velvet. Mm -hmm. I feel like this would be really good here. It would be nice here. But I think because this room is probably going to get used more. Yeah, actually, it's a good point. Maybe in the formal. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, this one, too, because they are spending so much time in there. She did say, like, fabric to be durable mm -hmm. and just, like, materials to be durable in general. As you guys are talking, what I would really love to do is focus as much as possible on, like, custom furniture pieces. Yeah. I think it'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun to do, like, side tables and things that mm -hmm. look custom. I mean, it'd be fun to do the dining table, too. While we're talking about this, um, let me see if I can pull it one second. <laughs> Actually, I came in here on the weekend looking for something, and it, to peek back there, I was like, whoa. <laughs> There's so much stuff back there. Like, with this project, we did so much custom furniture because... It was actually way cheaper for us to do it custom than it was to just buy the pieces. Because we were looking at like a console, like a $20,000 table that we could have made for 12000 as an example. And then, you know, like a $40,000 console that we could have done for 15000 like that kind of stuff. Yeah, and not every piece needs to be custom, but just a few. A few. I think it would be a good idea. Yeah. Cool. So before we jump into this, we have to introduce Paula to YouTube Hi, and YouTube, YouTube to Paula. <laughs> Paula is our new senior designer. We're very excited to have her on board. And we are jumping into just a quick brief on the tower project that we're working on in White Rock, which we're gonna bounce from here and go for a client meeting soon. So is this just preliminary kind of thing? Yeah, just, just to, to show, show them? how many pieces of equipment they can have in there. Yeah. Just to give them a sense of the space. And I'm sure you could probably even squeeze it more. Mm-hmm. So I really like that sense of community Sorry, when you're living in a building. And I'm just thinking in the summertime, you can open these doors, you can be working out. That's why I left a bit of extra space there. Friends are partying, yeah. you know, like... <laughs> you're socializing, <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> like, yeah, no, like for sure. Old. You definitely feel very connected to those spaces, which mm -hmm. is kind of nice. We're going to bring this. Yep. Can we bring the concept and design development yeah, packages? Perfect. You've got those, Kate, okay, perfect.
<laughs> Thanks, guys. That's so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Cool. I was just about to say, it's like we're having a party. Aww. Fun. We're having a process party. I love it. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to like take this off and the whole cake is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. We have lots of snacks. So that means that you will pay attention. Exactly. For the next three hours. <laughs> Ultimately, we wanted to have a process meeting just to set you guys up for success. Most importantly, I always feel so that we're speaking the same language. So that when we say, okay, we're gonna do that design development package, we all know what that means. Mm -hmm. um, and we can explain that to the clients clearly and just that expectations are sort of set. It's a lot to cover. And it's especially a lot to cover just because we do so many different types of projects. So even when we talk about concept in residential, that's gonna be a little bit different in commercial and different in multifamily. But it's just a good opportunity too for um, anyone to ask questions and for us all to get on the same page. And, um, and we're always refining the process too, right? Like we're always getting better and better. So some, things that we were doing maybe two years ago aren't going to apply as much today and that kind of thing. I'm always looking to do something different um, with every single project, but at the same time, maintain a brand. And which is tricky because you still need an element of repetition. Mm -hmm. Like that's really how you create a brand is you're sort of repeating and saying the same thing over and over again so that people come to recognize that. And then that's when people go, oh, that looks like a House of Bond project, even if it's not, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're seeing elements that are similar to the work that we would do. Um, and the reason why this is important too is that because this will come out the most in our discussions um, during concept. You know, are we staying true to the brand? Um, can we amp it up? Can we push the client outside of their comfort zone a little bit? And I always say to clients, like, if we haven't made you uncomfortable, then we haven't done our job well. <laughs> so they should be sitting there going like, oh, I don't just don't know about this. <laughs> so you're like, good, <laughs> good. <laughs>